What is up guys, it's your boy Witching Neptune here and today in this video we are here with another gameplay of Splix.io Now I want to give a shout out to three special people and that's Young Blue, Kenley, and Woodich Theo Now first of all it's Young Blue obviously Now Young Blue, they're a little, there's a little brat uh, God damn I don't know like literally I had to retake this video so much times Cause I mumbled out some words and I it sounded wrong, it sounds stupid. But you know what? I'm gonna do this right here. I'm not gonna retake this video. Whatever comes out is whatever you're gonna freaking get. So yeah, press the like button, <laughs> subscribe. Wow. Okay. So the first person I wanna give a shout out to is Young Blue. Now there's a background story to this. Okay. Now Young Blue, he's one of my friends since middle school, and believe it or not, he used to make fun of me. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, he used to make fun of me during middle school, literally there, w there wouldn't be a day of 7th grade year that he wouldn't make fun of me, or 8th grade year, most of 8th grade year he made fun of me, 7th uh, grade year, 7th um, grade year we didn't know each other that well, so it took time for him to you know get comfortable to roast me and stuff, but um, yeah, um, the first time I told him, the first time I told him about my channel, um, he made fun of me for it, okay, he, 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 he didn't take it seriously, he didn't take it seriously how I took it, cause I, I took it like it was like, I, I don't know, I just took it like it was a part of my life, you know what I'm saying, um, he used to make fun of me, he used to make fun of me, him and this other dude named Jareed, they used to watch my videos during class and, tell everyone to watch it too and stuff and it just it just got to the point where it started to get annoying and I started to get frustrated sometimes I would delete videos off my channel I would delete videos off my channel because I'm I would be I would be scared that they would show more people about it so there was a time where I would have so much views on a video but I had to take it down because I was scared that they were gonna tell a bunch of people and make fun of me and stuff and you know all those drama and stuff. But I could I can be I could be standing here and start roasting the crud out of them. But I'm not that type of person, okay? I'm not the type of person who just because they roast me back in the days I'm gonna roast them back, you know, as payback. I'm not that type of person. So I'm gonna give a shout out to Young Blue. Subscribe to his channel. His channel name is Young Blue. Y O N G space B L U E Young Blue. He makes videos like he makes GTA 5 videos, NBA videos, NBA mixtapes and stuff like that. So subscribe to his channel. I would really, I would really appreciate it. Ooh, we gotta. What the? What? You saw that, guys? Don't lie. You saw that? I freaking got him. I got him a long goddamn time ago. That's freaking crazy, man. Don't even, don't even try me like that. And now, as I'm mad, it's a perfect time to start this um ad thing. Great. But yeah, give a I'm giving a shout out to Young Blue subscribe to his channel. He does GTA 5 videos, NBA, NBA mixtapes and stuff. So you know, subscribe, hit the like button, watch his stuff, support, spread the word, and everything. Now, the next person I want to give a shout out to is Kenley. Now, Kenley, he's one of my friends since fourth grade, and I've known him for five freaking years. So right now, I'm 15, turning 16. And I've known him for five years. Wait, I just said that. But right now, I might just say that I'm turning 16, and I've known him since I was 10 years old. Now, now, right now, you wouldn't think that 10 is, you know, that young. But to me, when you're 10, you're very, you're very young. Honestly, you're very young. So I want to give a shout out to Kenley. He's one of my bestest friends, man. I don't know what I would do without him, man. Like, we talk about anything. It don't matter. It, it doesn't matter how awkward it is. We talk about anything, bro. Like, you know, we talk about, like, literally sometimes we'd be, like, low-key trying to, like, get girls kicks and stuff. And he would, like, send me, he would, like, show me screenshots and stuff, man. It was crazy. It was, it was freaking crazy. But, yeah, I want to give a shout-out to Kenley. And last but not least, I want to give a shout-out to Wittich Theo. Now, I've known, now, you know that I have to give him a shout-out the other, the other day. Uh, I gave him a shout out because um, he did my banner and stuff, but I want to give him another shout out because while I wasn't making videos for a whole week, we were actually putting some work, you know what I'm saying? We're making an outro, okay? Now, if you're too eager and you want to see this outro now, 
just skip ahead in the video and you know skip ahead to the end of the video so you can see that outro but for real though when i say the outro is lit the outro is freaking lit man it's awesome i'm telling you i can't i can't even believe we did this honestly i can't even believe we did this but we did it for you guys i didn't like i felt like i needed to like owe you guys something because i haven't like usually i record videos every single day monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday but now i'm only putting up videos on wednesdays so i've cut out a lot of time of youtube and pay attention to school and i'm sorry for that but school comes first and i need i need to have a backup plan you know what i'm saying and guys you, you always need to have a plan b because if you don't then you're probably not going to succeed in life so um yeah we didn't we did an outro and it's beast as hell um once again if you're too eager and you want to see it now skip ahead skip ahead until the end of the video so you can see it but today in this video we're going to talk about a special topic now we're going to talk about a girl okay now don't worry it's not like oh i'm trying to like get a girlfriend or anything it's not like that um we're gonna call this girl mrs g okay mrs g because you know it's a girl anyway so we're gonna call her mrs g now mrs g i've known her since fourth grade too okay and me and my friend mozart we made a rap about her okay now it, it wasn't like a rap like oh baby love you isn't it was nothing like that okay it was just like a funny rap you know what i'm saying like it's just you know just making jokes and stuff that's how we used to do and um i've seen her in um high school because i because during middle school when it was middle school when it was the middle school years you know six when it was seventh and eighth grade in middle school she went to a different uh, middle school so i haven't seen her in three years so um now that we go to the same high school i saw her right and the first thing i said you know what i'm saying you know like usually I'm the type of person that would bring up back memories of, you know, good memories of what happened. So, um, one of those memories was the rap that we made. And I know she would, like, I would never forget that, okay? And I know that she would never forget it either. But, <laughs> you see what I said, but? So, when I saw her, I, I, was, I was rapping. I was, do I was doing the rap that um, me and my friend made. So while I was doing that, she came out of nowhere and she was like, Abraham, grow up. You never like you never changed. You haven't changed. And at that at that point, I got me it got me pissed off. Cause I don't know why she wants me to change. It makes no sense. Why should I change? Why should I change just for you? I'm not gonna change just because someone wants me to change. It makes no sense. So after she left, I went to my, I went to my friend Kenley because you know Kenley's my best friend, and I told him I was like, "Yo, what's what's wrong with this Dom? Like, are you serious? She, just want me, she wants me to change? I, like, it makes no sense. What? Am I supposed to change? I have two eyes, right? I didn't change. She has two eyes. She never changed, right? It makes no sense. So he was like, "Nah, man. It's just because you just look the same. Like, same thing. Khaki pants. Um, you know." Just khaki pants. You just look the same. You, you, you don't. You don't have anything different. I'm like, am I supposed to look different? It makes no sense. And he told me, it's just, it's just that you know, you just you you don't you look the same. Like you you don't you don't have no Gucci belts. You don't have no you don't have no shoe game and stuff. You, you don't have all these like Gucci belts with the freaking designs on them and stuff. Louis Vuitton and shit. All these craps. Like that's what he told me. And as soon as he told me that. <laughs> As soon as he told me that, man, I got so annoyed. So I told him, I was, so in my mind, I was like, so in order for me to be cool, I need to freaking wear some Gucci belts, fucking sag my pants so everyone will see my underwear, uh, skip school because that's cool, and so I need to do all that just for someone to like me? It makes no sense. And if you're watching this video, Mrs. G, if you're watching this video, I don't care what you think. If you don't like me for who I am, then you don't not then I don't like you for I don't I don't like you for who you are. Yeah, why don't you change, huh? Why don't you change? Cause if changing means ignoring your friends and not talking to them, then I don't want to change. Cause to her, changing means ignoring your friends. Now I've known her for how long? For five years, and sometimes she just ignore me, and she ignore my friends too, and she know these people, so. So if changing mean forgetting about your friends and barely even talking to them, to the people who you grow up with, then I don't want to change at all. 
Because no matter what, friendship is key, man. You will never have that. I know people say, oh, family comes first. And I understand that family comes first. But when you're in school, there is no family when you're in school. When your school is only friends. It's only friends and other people that you don't even know. So you need to make friends. Because if not, then your high school experience or your elementary school or middle school experience is going to be crap. You want to grow up. You want to grow up and you want to look back at the times where you used to have fun with your friends. You don't want to you don't want to grow up and people be like, "Oh, how was your high school experience?" And you have to tell them the truth about, "Oh, it was crap. I didn't know anybody." You don't want to be that person who will sit in the back of the in the back of the room and and just stay quiet. You don't want to be that person who doesn't get to be involved in these conversations. Cuz when you're in class, there are 30 there's like 20 different conversations happening around you that you're not a part of. So you need to make yourself a part of that. So God damn, another another freaking ad? Man, these ads are going to be pissed off. Alright, but like I was saying, you don't need to change for no one, okay? That's, that's the thing I'm trying to say. This is like the key of the video. You don't need to change for no one, no matter who it is, okay? You're you, okay? It's your life, not theirs. If you're too busy trying to live up to their expectations, then you're going you're gonna to lose time of you trying to be you. It makes no sense. Don't don't live by someone else's expectations. Live to your own expectations. It's their life. They have their own life. They live theirs. They don't need to live yours either. I know so much people who now, oh, smokes weed and does all these things just to be cool. And they know that too. They know the main reason why they act how they act right now is just to be cool. And I just don't understand that. Yeah, yeah, sometimes people uh, may make fun of you and stuff, but just just ignore them. Honestly, just ignore them. It makes no sense. I know some people in these days commit suicide just because people be bullying them. It just makes no sense. Just because they don't have, just because they are not in the hood or anything like that, doesn't mean you can't be friends with them. Because now in this generation, you need to be having your pants sagging or having to skip school in order to be cool. And I'm not that type of person. I got goals, man. You, yeah, you can skip school, and when you get older, you can be living in what? Uh, let's see, in the back of Walmart or something? Yeah, yeah. If you want to live behind, if you want to live behind Walmart and work at McDonald's, earning minimum wage like a dollar seventy-five a freaking hour, then you go do that. But me, I have goals. I have freaking goals. I'm not gonna waste my time trying to be cool for people to like me. No, I'm not the type of person I am. Okay. You don't like me? Fuck you. I don't give a crap. <laughs> you think I care? <laughs> I don't care. I honestly don't care. <laughs> Man, these niggas, these, these niggas think I care. I don't care if you don't like me. And right now, I know I might sound like a jerk. But, but most of you people that's watching this video, you subscribe for a reason. Okay? You subscribe because of me. How I acted. So, it doesn't matter, because people out there are going to like you for who you are, not for what you're wearing or what you're doing, okay? It just makes no sense. So, you know, the, the key message to this video, I don't want to make, I don't want it for it to sound like a boring video or something like that, oh, this dude is making a freaking motivational speech. But the key is, don't, don't change, okay? Don't change just for people to like you. Be you, and everything's gonna be fine. Honestly, it doesn't it doesn't matter if you don't have any friends, but there's gonna be one day where you're gonna walk in class, and there's gonna be that special friend that's gonna say hi to you, and that day when they say hi is the first day of like a wonderful relationship, man. I'm telling you right now. Some ha half of the people I know, if I haven't said hi that day, and if they haven't said hi that day then I probably would have never met them. So just a simple high can change your whole life. You just can't, I don't know, you just can't lose that. And it sometimes scares me sometimes too. Because sometimes just one little move can change everything. Honestly. The, is I don't know, it's just, it's so easy to change your life no matter what. Just one simple action can change everything in the future. 
If I start smoking now and stuff, that can that can later change in the future. I can die early. I can get cancer. That can change everything. So it doesn't matter what people think of you, okay? Do you and be you, and everything's gonna be fine. So yeah, guys. Um, thank you for watching this video of me playing Splix.io. I know I haven't paid, played, not played, paid attention to the gameplay, but it's just, it's very serious to talk about this. So yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching this video of Splix.io. If you liked it, hit that like button in the face like a boss. If you enjoyed it, comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, at Twitter, and Twitter, at Witchy Neptune. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Tune in to my next video. And don't forget to keep it cool, guys. Peace.